And you know, I hate to tell you this about NATO. If we ever needed their help, let's say we were attacked, I don't believe they'd be there. The so-called border security deal Biden is gushing out and pushing out is not designed to stop illegal immigration. It's designed to continue the invasion of America while sending billions of dollars to Ukraine and other countries. And you know, Ukraine's an interesting case. People always want to know my feeling. Number one, we're in for 200 billion plus, and the European nations are in for 20 billion. And it's more important for them. And don't you think they should equalize? Nobody asks them. It's like I did with NATO. I said, we're spending, we're, we're paying for NATO. And we don't get so much out of it. And you know, I hate to tell you this about NATO. If we ever needed their help, let's say we were attacked, I don't believe they'd be there. I don't believe. I know the people. I know them. I can tell you country by country who would be there and who, but I don't believe they'd be there. But I took care of NATO. I said, you got to pay your bills. If you don't pay your bills, we're not going to be there to support you. And the following day, the money came rolling into NATO. But the European nations, if you add them up, the economy is about the same size as the U.S. Believe it or not, a lot of people are surprised. You add them all up, and uh, they are in for about $20 billion, and we're in for $200 billion because we're stupid. All we have to do is say pay. Nobody ever says to them pay. You don't even hear that. I say pay. And they'll pay, too. You have to equalize. As just one example of the border bill, the monstrosity that we're dealing with, two million illegals cross the border every single year in the past. And now that number is changing to maybe eight times that amount. We cannot let this happen to our country as the leader of our party. There is zero chance I will support this horrible open borders betrayal of America. It's not going to happen. I noticed that, and I'll fight it all the way. I noticed a lot of the senators, a lot of the senators are trying to say respectfully they're blaming it on me. I said, that's okay. Please blame it on me, please, because they were getting ready to pass a very bad bill. And I'll tell you what, a bad bill is, I'd rather have no bill than a bad bill. A bad bill you can't have, and that's what was happening. And the House, as you know, the Speaker, who's, by the way, if, I think he's going to prove to be a very good Speaker. It's tough when you have a very small majority. Very tough. Mike Johnson, Speaker, he just said it's dead on arrival in the House. It's dead on arrival. We want either a strong bill or no bill, and whatever happens, happens.